Hello Commanders and welcome to this video for Infinite Lagrange. I know I didn't do videos for a longer time and there's a reason. But let's start with some very interesting news. There are big changes coming to this game and they will be mainly affecting how aircraft and anti-aircraft weapons will work. Now, for now, this season, the most interesting ship when it comes to anti-aircraft that I use is the Mare Tranquilatis. Why is that? Um, pretty simple. It got an interesting boost with the command system and um, it has the anti-aircraft network which can increase the hit rate by 50% if you are in a disadvantage, which as I don't have mistress happens quite often to me. Um, you need at least three ships and it needs to be the flagship. The second one, it has focus fire, everyone has focus fire, but it also has fast switching, which reduces the cooldown of all anti-aircraft weapons of the current of our company's ships or aircraft. Now, that's pretty nice. Um, I did try it out in a few fights. I don't really think it changed so much. It might be a small bonus, but overall, not really a lot changed doing that. Now, this is where it's getting really interesting. There is something new coming. And um, let's have a look at this. The battle mechanism update and pilot server feature preview. We do get a test server. Um, I play this game for a really, really long time. This is the first time I see that we get a test server, or at least that we have access to the test server. Let's say it this way. We saw some pictures in the past from, I think, Chinese test servers, um, but we never had access. Now we will be able to join the test server, or at least some of us. And overall, it looks very interesting. The first picture here shows the current um, anti-aircraft system mechanics. And we know this. A ship needs to attack your anti-aircraft weapon carrying ship and then it fires back. There are very, very few ships that can attack um, aircrafts without this mechanic. Very, very few. Now, in the future, as you can see here, uh, when I move a little bit out, the aircrafts are moving to somewhere else to attack it and there's a pre-targeting phase. So they will change the whole anti-aircraft targeting mechanism. Um, the other thing is they will also change like what armor or how armor works or what feature says. There will be stealth coatings that can reset um, the anti-aircraft targeting when the ship goes back. There's a quick breakthrough, as I understand, it can reduce the time the aircraft needs to fly to the ship it attacks. And these are two things that are new mechanics. Um, yes, we do have attack interval time, ready to battle time, um, but we don't really have aircraft, anti-aircraft weapons locking on to an aircraft and staying on it till it is destroyed. We do have this, we see this with aircrafts on ships, we do see this with our frigates, cruisers, destroyers, everything. They lock on and they stay on till something is destroyed. So this is new. Also this quick breakthrough, that means we can already attack aircrafts while they are on the way to the ships they want to attack. There's now a flight time. Before this was very simplified, I'll put the link to this description, um, to this yeah patch notes or test server notes Initiate into the description, drive, so you can read through all of this by yourself. But now the aircraft needs to fly to its attack, and during that flight time, it can get attacked already by anti-aircraft missiles. It's similar to the cooldown time we had before, but during the cooldown, it could not be attacked. So that's a huge change. We can see this here for some example, the Vita B-010 bomber, amazing aircraft. It got a flying time of 10 slash six seconds. Um, it's an outbound time and the inbound time. That means it flies 12 seconds to the target, then it will attack and then it will fly six seconds back. Um, 
I'm sure we will be able to scale these things that they are faster. Um, we can reduce these times similar as a ready to battle time, similar as a attack interval or the cooldown time. We could reduce these times. I don't think we will be able to bring them to zero anymore like we were like we are right now, but we will see. So the uh, um, test server will start very soon. Um, for the Mars Serenatitas, um, we can see here it also has um, now much more um, anti-aircraft um, attribute skills. There are now skills that will increase a weapon's efficiency when attacking aircraft. In this case, the cooldown of the weapon will be reduced by 10% when attacking aircraft. Um, this is also new. Um, the damage here is very, very low. I would need to check if it's um, lower than before, but it might be that they rework the whole thing quite a lot. Um, here we can see the stealth maneuvers. Um, they will... Uh, when the aircraft returning to the carrier, there's a 30% chance of ignoring enemy anti-aircraft weapons pre-targeting effect. So what I guess is it will also take time to target an aircraft. Now, if it comes back, it probably is still target. That means you can continue immediately shooting at it. When you lose this um, targeting lock-on, then of course you will have a new lock-on time period and that means um, less damage because first the cooldown time, then damage time again. Now, there is much, much more. Um, the pilot server recruitment started. One thing about the pilot server recruitment, not everyone can join it. There's a limited number of spaces. If you are lucky and you will have the chance to join it, um, we can take a look at this. I got lucky. Um, you will be able to see it here in the events under pilot server recruitment. Time remaining 11 days when I'm doing the recording, so the event duration will be from 17th of March till 31st of March. And um, important to understand, your character will be copied to that server. So there will be a test server copy of your character. Um, you will not move your character really there. Everything you do on the test server will get deleted later when the test server is open, uh, over. And um, it will not affect anything of your um, live server, your, your real character. So there will be like a shadow copy of your character that you can use. Now I didn't click on it yet. I wanted to wait for this um, till you guys are here and we recording the video. So let's see, let's tap to register. Okay, that's not, that was anticlimactic. Um, that was very boring. So yeah, um, I am registered. Now I have to wait. Um, if you didn't do it, I would recommend do it. It will probably be very interesting. We will get resources and stuff like this to make it easier to um, test out all the things. So I think we will not need to build up our base. We will not need to farm our resources. As I understand, we will get quite a lot of stuff at the beginning that we can go directly into the testing. Now there will be more changes. They will, as I understand, also rework the armor system. There seems to be um, updates for the efficiency of UAVs. I assume it will be mainly the repair UAVs. It's a little bit like the higher the armor of a ship, the more they will repair um, this kind as I read it. Um, but as soon as I know more, I will make more videos about it because finally there is something new, there is something happening in the game and it is a change I think we are really looking forward because everyone is running aircraft um, fleets and um, it got a little bit boring. I mean, same for me. I do run an aircraft fleet as my main fleet. I nearly got it back set up. So if you take a look here, my main fleet got some nice front line, I got some Predators and some Jaegers. Um, I do have the Wing to the aircraft, um, anti-aircraft destroyers inside there also just for some bonus. And at the moment I'm trying out the Xeno Defensive as well as uh, Mara Tranquilatis um, anti-aircraft for more damage. Then um, I do send additional, oh, sorry they are here, 
Um, then I do send additional... Sometimes I'm clicking wrong. Let's click on the reinforcement. Um, five solar veils. And they bring all my aircrafts into the game. The only other thing and that makes... Honestly, it's more interesting is a flanking fleet. The flanking fleet is a much faster fleet. I can use the IO um, cruisers there. They are pretty fast, especially when you upgrade them. Taurus are amazing for flanking. Ares Heavy Cannon do really, really good damage. I got the Xeno Stinger A version in here because I wanted to put the B version in the main fleet as this one usually should fight the main fleet of my enemy where you usually find all the aircrafts. And as the anti-aircraft doesn't work when you flank, I put the anti-aircraft in that one. And then some really at stealth. Another one really, really good um, you can use there would be... Now I'm nearly doing a tier list here already. Um, but yeah, I'm nearly finished, so I think that will be fine. The Quar can also do a really, really nice damage. The torpedo version in special in a flanking fleet. Very, very nice. Now... I think with this test server, when these changes come, there might be a huge, huge change to the meta. I think we will see um, fleets will mix up much more and it will not be only aircraft fleets anymore. And that is exciting news. I'm really hoping um, that we will see some shifting and a little bit more mix up in the future. So I hope you liked the video. Um, as usual, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to the channel um, if you want to see the videos about the test server. I hope I will get um, approved and I can show you videos of the test server. And um, yeah, then I'll see you all on the next video again.